First, though, an 11th hour decision by Central Florida's largest school district. Orange County students now required to wear masks for the first 30 days of school. This is News 6 at 11. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden in for Lisa Bell. Tonight, a phone call went out to parents alerting them of the critical change just days before the start of school. This comes in the midst of a lawsuit against the banning of mask mandates in Florida schools. News 6's Nikki Zizaza is outside Orange County Public School headquarters tonight with reaction from one parent who is a part of the suit. Yes, this Orange County parent tells me she's doing this for all parents who do not want their child to contract COVID-19. And she says she's also doing it for those parents who want options for their children with special needs. On the same day, Judy Hayes, along with parents of students with disabilities, filed this lawsuit against Governor Ron DeSantis, alleging his latest executive order violates the Americans with Disabilities Act. We filed in federal court. Orange County Public Schools sent parents this audio message from Superintendent Barbara Jenkins. I am implementing required face masks for all students unless the parent chooses to opt out of the requirement. Opting out means sending a simple note with your child on the first day of school. Jenkins explaining the new rule was approved by the Florida Department of Health and Department of Education, despite the governor's executive order, and will be in effect for 30 days. I was very pleased to hear that robocall late this afternoon from Barbara Jenkins saying that they're going to impose a 30-day mask mandate. However, the mother of two says it isn't enough forcing her to take legal action. We're seeking injunctive relief to invalidate the governor's order on mask mandates and the education commissioner's order threatening to defund these lo local school districts if they offer the online option. An option she says is imperative for her son who needs a synchronous virtual option at OCPS. Our son Will is 10 and he has Down syndrome and he is going into fourth grade. The consolidated lawsuit includes 27 parents and children who say a ban on mask mandates accelerated their sense of urgency. We're frustrated and we're terrified and we're furious and we're not going to take this sitting down. We will fight him to the ends of the earth if we have to. Hayes challenging the governor's executive order. It's allowed to stand only because no one's challenged it yet. He has ignited the ire of an army of angry parents. Nikki Zizaza, Getting Results, News 6.